Hello Man All Stars, this is your boy Shocker360 from ManAllStars.com and today we're gonna go ahead and play as Madden Fight 10. This is the second quarter of this game, which was a really good game and uh, you know, the, the guy uh, is pretty much, he's a talker, you know, but uh, you know, we're gonna go ahead and just play the game, not talk that much and just uh, do what we gotta do. As you guys can see here, the score is 7-7, to we got 4 minutes left in the second quarter, we're coming on the cover 2. Uh, cover three bluff and out of the nickel formation what we like to do when, when we're setting up this place uh real quick show blitz uh, and spread the linebackers and then global blitz uh, right linebacker in that case we had a nice edge rush from the defensive end so we're gonna go ahead and send it this time to the opposite side again we're gonna go ahead and show blitz spread the linebackers global blitz the left linebacker we get a nice edge rush right here but he blocked it this time and he gets a really nice pass to the outside uh, as you guys can see there, uh, we he gets a first down, so we're going to go ahead and try to lock him up as we go along in this game. But at the same time, we know that we have a pretty much good offense, and we could score on the offense every single time we get the ball. So here we go. Uh, he's blocking uh, almost everybody in the line, sending everybody right here and trying to use a catch uh, with his wide receivers. And, uh, you know, the Ravens are pretty good on, on, on defense, but on offense, they lack a couple of uh, sides on the on the wide receivers but on defensively they make everybody fumble so here we go we're gonna go ahead and man up this time with the dt the, the running back which is pretty much a waste because he's blocking the running back and right here he's just trying to lob it up to get a a nice uh catch but he doesn't get it in this case so i'm gonna go ahead and switch it up right here for the 4-1 um 4 and as you guys notice he's gonna block everybody right now because i'm sending the blitz and this time he's gonna go ahead and come on and uh and uh, this is like the tight formation under the center. Real quick pass, he comes in and he scores right away. So uh, one thing you want to do against under the center, you're going to want to send a quick blitz that uh, destroys under the center uh, offense. So you could come out in the edge thing or you could come out in the 4-3 over plus and do that untouchable A gap that you can do. I don't know if you guys know how to do that, but it's a real easy setup. All you have to do is on that over, it's a Mike Sam 3. All you have to do is basically uh, shift the linebackers to the right, uh, line to the left, re-blitz the DT, and then re-blitz the uh, outside line defensive end. And I think the, another site already posted that, but you know, you could use that defense to under the center. You just got to make sure you guard uh, really well the middle of the field because uh, you could only do it where you're grabbing the safety on the right side, which is, you know, it takes away the users on the left and then you have to adjust and maybe you won't have enough time to adjust on time. So here we go. We're with the Seahawks, we're coming out in the ace close formation. I love this formation because uh, you could do a lot of things with it and then you could also go quick pass. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys here what I'm talking about. And when you go into the center, everything's a little bit faster, especially when you go no huddle. So as you guys can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and come out in the fullback trail motion, the Y over here to the right, who's in a wheel route and the running back just leave him in the flat. And we make a nice move right here and he makes me fumble. now. That's some BS right there, man. That's some the Madden BS, as you guys can see there. He made me fumble, so he gets the ball back. And here we go again. Now we're gonna go on, on defense, and that's one of the things about the Ravens. Uh, they're gonna make you fumble when you're playing against them, and he got that one right there. He got a, a nice uh, play from Madden and gave it to him. So here we go, once again. Coming out in the 4-3, uh, sure cover three buff, and we get the user pick, and we get it back. So he threw right into coverage. He didn't know where the defense was coming from, and he just threw right into coverage right there, and I just quickly reacted, and we answered back right here with a touchdown, so the score is 14-14 in this game. So that was a really good adjustment right there. I sent the blitz on the left side. Again, I, I actually showed blitz, spread the linebackers, and then I global blitz the left defense, uh, the left outside linebacker in that case, and we got the edge hit on the left, but he threw right into coverage, and that's why we got a pick here for a pick six. So... Here we go, 14-14, and uh, we're tight in this game. We got two minutes, 45 seconds left, so the time right here is running kind of slow because we're going pass heavy, but at the same time, we know we're adjusting, and we both adjusted really well, and as you guys can see here, I answered back with the touchdown, and we're tight 14-14. So we got two minutes, 45 seconds left in the clock. I'm going to go ahead and come out again. Sure, cover three bluff. It's my favorite defense, and we're breaking it down here for you guys so you can guys get some help and know how to use it. The way I use it, as you guys can see here, you can put the defensive end right here in a deep blue. On the right side, put a spy on the left uh, DT, as you guys can see here, and yellow on the linebacker. He just throws right in the middle of the zone right here, as you guys can see. Now, this player is no joke. This guy is a good player. He plays uh, against a lot of top players, so, you know, 
we're going to be definitely going back and forth uh, in, in on defense and offense. But look at this. We send the blitz, and we get him right here. This was actually the 416. And I came out of nickel and then out of bone to the 416. And just actually just what I did was just press the defense and... Uh, and the base line and everything was set up automatically and we got a nice edge rush out of the right side of the field out of the 416 car sugar three seam that's what the play it was sir and as you guys can see here we're gonna go ahead and flip it and trying to make it just uh, send the blitz on the opposite side so he could see it get a different look in this play so right here he's taking a while on this play we're gonna go to a two minute warning so we got two minutes left in this quarter and we're just gonna go ahead and uh try to adjust to what he's giving us and he's playing a compressed set and under the center and then he goes back to the top and then just definitely hard to stop offense as you guys can see here so here we go we're gonna go ahead and uh right away uh come out in the 416 defense end up with a defensive end he motions to the left he like kind of like create a bunch over here on the left side of the field and we're gonna go ahead and try to lock this up and he just scores right away man uh, really hard to defend, I mean, my safeties were up there. I don't know what happened. Okay. Uh, he, they got right behind the zones, and everything was pretty much covered. And here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and kick off. And right here, opponent is sending me a message. Let's go ahead and fast forward this part. Okay, here we go. Uh, we get the ball back. We got one minute fifty seconds left. We're coming with the Seahawks, and the Seahawks are a good team. I I set them up to where I got the. Fastest defensive ends, the cornerbacks are in the right position. The offense, uh, I got the tight ends, uh, the receivers at tight ends. That's what I like. <laughs> and, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, cheating, but it's not cheating because, you know, that's how I mean. If the game lets you do that, man, hey, more power to us over here. So, oh, man, that was a really, really, really close play. He got me there. It was a computer hit. But uh, second and ten. And right before the half, uh, we're almost there in the halftime, and we want to score because we're behind one touchdown. We already made us fumble. We answered back with a with a user pick, and we and now he answered back in 21-14 like right away. So now it's my turn to to start answering right here, and he sends the a gap. And look at this really nice catch, as it was just a fade route on the outside wide receiver right there out of the split close formation fullback trail, and we're just reading him. Uh, as you guys can see here, he's coming out in zones and just sending the blitz off the edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and read what he's doing. And uh, I think the Seahawks are a pretty good matchup to go against the, the Ravens. It's just that the Ravens get a lot of bullshit on defense. Because uh, that's what they're known for, for. For defense, making you fumble and doing all these kinds of crazy stuff. But as you guys can tell, yeah, I was going to tell you guys. Uh, don't forget to vote for me for TGN, uh, TGN Icon. Uh, thank you guys for the ones that voted already. If you haven't voted, vote for me. I'll post a link here on the description. And look at this right here, strong close formation. Do you guys want this breakdown of the strong close formation? Really quick pass, we answered and we're down. Now we're tied 21-21. So, like I was saying, don't forget for to vote for me for TG uh, and Icon, man. I made it last week, I survived. It's time to survive this week. I need your support. I want to thank you guys. Uh, last week, we only got like a 53 votes and I was like, really, 53 votes? Man, I need to hustle. So now we got 50 votes in one day. I was counting the votes and we got 50 votes in one day. So let's make it 150 this week. Man, if we get the 150, I'll break down any guide you guys want, man. Anything. Uh, I'll break it down, but you guys need to vote. So I'm going to go ahead and post the link on the description so you guys can vote for, for me. And, you know, so I, I'm representing the Madden community. I'm representing the Madden community because I'm going against uh, all... Look at this catch, man. This guy, I just can't stop him. Just can't stop him. He's doing all this crazy catch animations all over the field, man. It's really hard to stop. I'm trying to send the blitz off the edge out of the 4-3 under. I should have just stayed in cover 2, uh, true cover 3 bluff. But uh, like I was saying, uh, make sure you guys vote. I'm repping the, I'm going against Minecraft players. I'm going against uh, all this kind of Call of Duty, all these other guys. So, you know, I'm trying to make it happen here and rep the Madden community. So let's win it for the Madden community, man. If you know you don't like my videos, vote for me for the Madden community, okay? If not, just uh, vote for me, man. I'll hook you guys up, you know, with free guide or something. Uh, I'll definitely break something down. Some of you guys wanted that Green Bay Packers scheme. I posted it. You know, it's all good. Whatever you guys want, I'll go ahead, go ahead and hook you guys up. I know Doc Raven is right, is doing my 4-3 under scheme. 
I was giving I away the free ebooks. He got, got it, it, and he's running it, and now he's had like on a 20 game winning streak. So, I mean, the scheme, I should have sold it, but you know, I decided to give it to you guys for free. And look at this right here. He gets a nice catch towards the flats. So, man, really disappointed. But here we go 27 21. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, try to score right here, man. We got 40 seconds left 28 21, the score. Uh, we're going to go ahead and come out in the fullback trail. That's my favorite money play. Come out in that most of the time. Under the center, if they can't stop me under the center, I'll go uh, with a fullback trail uh, mostly the entire game uh, because I could set it up uh, so many different ways that will get my players open uh, almost all the time. So here we go. Coming under the center, uh, I shouldn't run the situation. I want to go ahead and start uh, passing the ball because I only got 40 seconds left. And if I go in bounds, and I only have one timeout. So here we go. Again, we're coming out under the center. This is the uh, ace twins. I like this play because of the wheel route. As you guys can see here, it gets wide open against zone. So you're seeing that your opponent's in zone. This this offense right here definitely will get open against the zone because that wheel route, for some reason, the cornerback's zone guarded, even if they're in cover two. Uh, he goes towards the inside, and you can just pass me to the outside right away. So this is the Texans fork. As you guys can see here, I'm going to go ahead and fade route both outside wide receivers, wheel the running back, and motion the outside wide receiver on the right a little bit to the outside. I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. Let's see if we could get it. Oh, we don't get it. Really close play. Uh, right here. I thought I was going to get it. We got 30 seconds left. See, we could even get the score uh, in here. So make it a little bit closer before the second half. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and come on in the fullback trail. Going to go ahead and streak the outside wide receiver. Once you can have a step, he gets me on a blitz. Third and 10. 30 seconds left in the clock. And here we go. We're going to come out in the zone weak out of the ace close formation. And we're going to streak both outside wide receivers. And then we come out in I ace twins. So remember, guys, vote for me, man. Vote for me. I'll hook you guys up. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen the Green Bay Packers scheme. It's pretty awesome. Look at this. Fade route with a circle. I'm going to go ahead and try to throw it to the outside. Ooh. We get it? No, we don't get it, man. So we're going to have to punt in this situation. So this is pretty much it for this quarter. Stay tuned because it's going to get awesome. I'm losing right now. 28 to 21. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, what am I going for it? Man, I forgot I was going for it in this situation. Okay. Now, usually I wouldn't do that. I usually go punt. But look at this. I don't get it. What a dumbass move. Why, why the hell did I, did I go for it right here on fourth and down? 28 21 the score. We're going to go ahead and try to edge things. See, hopefully he doesn't score on us. That was the dumbest move I ever done in any game, man. I really, I, I shouldn't even be showing you guys this, but definitely that was dumb on my part. Look at this. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to do something here. And, oh, we get the user pick. So we get the ball back. Oh, we save ourselves right there. I sent the edge thing in last resort, man. I was mad because of what I did. So I sent the edge thing. He lobs it up. He saw the blitz coming. And we get the pick. So that's pretty much it for this quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and kneel it. Just keep it safe and uh, go ahead and stay tuned I, I'm gonna be giving a giveaway for those that vote just in thanks thanks thank you guys for making it 50 votes in one day like I said I want to make it to 150 votes man at least man I get 150 I'm pretty much in the top of this of this game so uh, I hope to you guys vote I'll post, post the link here and thank you guys for your support by this was shock at 60 from manosters.com